Next is text to columns. A lot of times we get comma separated or tab separated data or just joint data without any spaces. Since keeping data like this takes up less space, the file size is small and there is no limit on file size also. But when you are working on it in Excel, you want different parts of data in different columns so that you are able to work on it. Excel helps you move this text in table format. Let us see how. For student 6 data in our notepad file, we can see that the data is comma separated. If we copy paste this data in our Excel sheet, this comes in one single cell. To move this data into the right cells, select the cell and go to data, select text to columns. You can see two options here. Delimited is where data is separated by a particular separator such as comma here. Fixed width is used where there is no separator but we know exactly the number of characters that each column should contain. So here we will use delimited option. Select comma. You can see the separating lines that Excel has created for us to preview. Click next. Click on finish. You can see that the data is now in the correct cells. Let us do the same for other students also. So again for student 7, data is separated by a star symbol. Now we again go to text to columns option. Delimited, next, others, specify the separator which is star, next, finish, ok, this is also done. Similarly for the other two students, there is no particular separator but we know the column length for each, each set of data. Let us see how text to columns, fixed width, next. You can add or remove these separating lines. To add a line, click at the desired position. You can delete a line by double clicking on it. You can drag and drop a particular line to move it. Click on next. OK. Data is now in the respected cells. This was text to columns. Next is the option of removing duplicates from data. So many times the data has same entries several times. We may want to remove these same entries. In our data, we can see that student 2 has two entries, student 5 has two entries and student 3 also has two entries. Some of these entries are exactly same. For example, student 2 the maths and marks is science and English, all three are same in both the entries. So we may want to remove such duplicates. Let us do this. We first select the data, go to data and select remove duplicates. One thing to note here is there is a checkbox which says my data has headers. Since our data has the heading of students, Maths, Science and English, we have ticked this option. In case there is no header in our data, we can untick this option. So to remove exact duplicates, for example the student 2 that we discussed which has same marks in Maths, Science and English, we will select all the columns and click on OK. We see that two duplicates have been removed and six unique values remain. Still, student 5 has two values. For student 5, we want to keep only that entry in which student has scored more marks in English. So let us select the table again and we will sort this data. 
by the marks in english from largest to smallest now we will remove the duplicates in this data this will remove the second entry of student 5 which has lesser marks in english so uncheck all the other columns just keep student name and click on okay that one duplicate value of student 5 has been removed and you see that the one with lesser marks in english has been removed and the other entry still stays that's all for this lecture thanks